In this example, we would like to model 6063 T7 aluminum in radios. 6063 aluminum has an isotropic elastoplastic behavior which can be reproduced by a Johnson Cook model without damage. In radios, the Johnson Cook model can be defined using a Law 2 material card. In this card, we do not know values for five material properties. However, we have a strain stress curve from tensile testing of a 6063 T7 aluminum sample. Our objective is to find the five material property values of the Radios Law 2 card. We can model the tensile testing in Radios as a quarter of a standard tensile test and use symmetry conditions. A traction is applied to the specimen via an imposed velocity at the left end. A radio simulation was run with initial guesses for the five material properties. As seen in the graph, there are significant differences between the test and simulation results. The objective is to find the values for the five material properties so that the simulation results match the tensile test results. This can be achieved if the differences stated can be minimized. A new study is created for this example. The first thing that needs to be done in the study is to define the model that will be used. Before adding a model, a template file needs to be created. The template file is a parameterized input deck. The editor in HyperStudy is opened to create the .tpl file to be used for the study. The Radios input deck that will be used as the basis for the study is loaded into the editor. Using the HyperStudy editor, the design variables can be selected directly from the solver deck. First, the selection criteria is set for the selection of the design variables. Radios uses a default of 20 for the selector, and the selector's decimals is set to 5. The value under E, Young's modulus, is selected in the file and used to create a variable. After the value is selected, the right-click menu is used to create the variable. The name, lower bound, and upper bound are added for the variable. The design variable is created as indicated by the blue underlined value. The second variable is created for yield stress. The properties are entered into the design variable dialog. The third variable is the hardening coefficient. The properties are filled out in the design variable properties dialog. The fourth variable is created for HEXPO. The properties are filled out in the Design Variable Properties dialog. The fifth variable is created for maximum stress. The properties for the variable are filled out in the Design Variable Properties dialog. Now, the template file is generated from the solver deck. The new variables appear at the top of the template file. The template file is saved in the study directory. The editor can now be closed. Now, a new model from a template is added to the study. With the model added, the template file is added as the resource for the study. With the template added, the solver input file is added to the model. For this example, the two radios files are set in the solver input file field. Note, the two files are separated by a semicolon and the solver arguments field has dash both entered to copy both files. Next, the design variables from the template file are imported into the study. With the message window open, you can see that the design variables have been imported. With the variables added, move to the next step. You can see that the design variables that were imported are here. 
since they are already defined, move to the next step. The setup is now applied to the nominal run. With the setup complete, the study is ready for the next step. The Evaluate button is used to perform the nominal run for the study. The nominal run was successful, as noted by the Write, Execute, and Extract fields. With the nominal run complete, move to the next step. Three responses are added to the study for stress at strain 002, necking stress, and necking strain. With the variables created, a new expression needs to be set to extract the value for each. First, two file sources are added to read the displacement and the force. The solver output file generated by the nominal run is used to set the source for the variable values. The output file is then selected from the m underscore 1 folder of the nominal run. The type is set to node node 1 for this example. The request and component are set from the value in the type section. A second vector is added to the study. The file path is selected in the first vector, then copied and pasted into the second vector. The expression window is opened to set the expression to extract the value. For this vector, the type is set to section, section underscore 1. The component is changed to FT resultant tangent force. The vector source is now set for the second vector. The values are accepted to set the source files. Now, an expression is written using the expression builder and the vector values set up in the last step. The first expression is a linear interpretation of vector 1 divided by 75 to give displacement. Vector 2 divided by 12.012 to get force and a value of 0.02. Evaluate expression is used to see the value generated by the expression. The value matches what was expected, so the expression is accepted. Now, the expression is written for the necking stress response. The expression is set up to find the maximum stress. It uses the stress value calculated in a subrange of minimum strain and the strain value where the maximum stress occurs. Once written, the expression is evaluated to check the value. The value matches what is expected, so the expression is accepted. Finally, the expression is created for the necking strain response. The expression is written to extract the displacement vector. Once written, the expression is evaluated to check the value. The value matches the expected value, so the expression is accepted. With the responses set, a new approach is added for optimization. The next step is opened to review the design variables. The design variables are loaded from the nominal run. Since the design variables are set, go to the next step to set the objectives. Three objectives are added to the optimization study. The type is set to System Identification for all three objectives. Objective 2 is set to apply on the necking stress. Objective 3 is set to apply on the necking strain. If needed, the columns on the table can be hidden through the right-click menu. The columns can also be resized to better view the contents for review. The target values are then entered for each objective. The objectives are now ready to be applied to the study. With the objectives set, the specifications will be set in the next step. For this example, the Adaptive Response Surface Method is selected and applied to the study. With the specification set, the next step is to run the optimization. Clicking the Evaluation button, runs the optimization study. The refresh option is turned on to view the results as they are generated. The optimization runs are shown as they finish on the task page. The evolution data tab shows the values of the variables set up for the optimization as it runs. The evolution plot tab shows the plot for the optimization value selected. Returning to the evolution data tab, 
allows the data to be tracked as the optimization runs. The message log displays a message when the convergence takes place. In this example, convergence is reached at run 13. The values of each variable can be reviewed in the data table for each run. The Iteration Plot 2D tab is selected to post-process the results. The plot is shown to see how the iterations converge. A new plot is displayed by selecting it in the list. Using Control plus the left mouse button allows multiple results to be added to the plot. Returning to the Evolution Data tab, the objective values of the run in which convergence was achieved are reviewed. The objectives are very close to meeting their values of 141, 148, and 0.08 respectively. Using the system identification technique in HyperStudy, in only 30 analyses, we found the optimal Radius model parameter values for 6063 T7 aluminum material such that the strain stress curves from the simulation and the test correlate well to each other.